Hey everyone, welcome to the Country Good Life channel. I uh, just got done working on the van yesterday, doing a little brake job on it. The Honda always puts those little tiny screws in the rotor that hold the rotor on, and they never seem to come out correctly, um, with even like a little impact on it. And so uh, here are some tips and tricks on how to get those out. Uh, and then as a little bonus material, also uh, how to get the rotor off when it's seized on there. Uh, just a little trick that I've learned. Um, especially on Honda vehicles, but I think most vehicles have the ability to do this. So keep watching. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so if you ever have issues with these, screw these screws right here popping out, I got this one out. This one obviously stripped as I got out. Here's my full proof uh, technique to get it out. So you get yourself a hammer, get yourself some sort of punch, chisel, and then a drill with a little drill bit. This thing's stuck in there. I use the impact on it, um, and it would not come out. And so what you do is you take the drill, drill right into the side directly in. Give yourself a good shelf there. And then take your punch, put it at an angle. And I, I tap in a certain beat. I don't know if it's always worked for me, so I just do it. So I go tap, tap, and then a big hit. Tap, tap, big hit. And you just keep replacing it. Tap, tap, big hit. And then you have to do this for a little while. Sometimes you got to drill a couple times. So let me... Works better if you get in a good angle here. Oh, there it went. You see it? Look at that. So you can kind of just work it out there. And there it is. So that's just a little tip on how to get those out. Um, it's worked every single time for me. And so again, just uh, drill directly in uh, into the side of the, sh like the shelf of the screw. And then you can, sometimes you can drill kind of a little bit of an angle towards the direction you're gonna be hitting it just to give your punch a little bit more to grab. And then um, again, just two light taps and boom, a good tap, nice fast tap. It doesn't have to be really hard, it just has to be fast and uh, do that a few times. Sometimes you gotta drill a couple times. It might also help to heat the rotor around it a little bit, but just be careful with that, with uh, bearings and stuff like that. Don't heat things up too much. Try to try to just do this. I didn't heat this at all and it popped right out, so. Okay, so this is a Honda Odyssey I'm working on. So um, I just showed you how to get the little screws out of the rotor here. Um, this rotor is stuck on there. I can't seem to get it off. I've kind of hit it. It does not want to come off. Let me show you a little trick here. Um, get yourself a couple of screws. I just happen to have these ones laying around. Um, ones that will fit in these little holes right here. So screw those into the hole as far as you can, just hand tightened. There's a top hole and a bottom hole, just like I'm showing you. And then grab yourself just a little impact. You don't have to be anything crazy. And watch this. Kind of evenly go top and bottom. Look at that, popped right out. And pop these out. And now your rotor is loose. In this case, it's got the emergency brake in the back, which is uh, part of the reason I'm doing this job is because those are stuck, but there it goes. I hope that was helpful. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, if it is helpful like and subscribe. I want to continue to build this channel and so I can only do that if people uh, subscribe and watch and so thank you for your support and I hope you guys have a great day. God bless.